We like hey. it. Hey. It's, it's, uh, is All it recording? Right. It's recording, yeah. We're, oh, we're yeah. There we go. There's, yeah. there's a little red thing that says recording. Welcome back to the Awfully Irish podcast, everyone. How are we getting on, boys? Pretty good. Uh, head direct, because I've been talking to you for the last hour. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Don't Lovely. Go. So today, we've got ourselves a very special guest, Mr. Jimmy James Eaton. Yes, you, sir. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for having me. It's so great to be kind of in Ireland. Uh, I'm actually I'm actually in Melbourne, Victoria, and it's it's nine o'clock at night, just about. But I I've been to Ireland before, and um, really? my fa- my family's from Ireland. So oh, that's there cool. you go. And let me just say, Ireland? Australia is the best place in the world. Uh, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, it's very boring, uh, as I probably is in Ireland at the moment. And, and yeah. most places, I, I feel like wherever you go around the world, you're just sitting inside a house. No, man. Um, exactly. Tato Tato Park's open and there's at least one chair. person recording a podcast. Wait, yeah. is yeah. Tato Park open? What? Opening tomorrow. Go on! Uh, it's back open tomorrow. Did you just say Potato Park? No, no, Tato, man. Come on. I mean, it's pretty much sorry, Potato sorry. Park. Tato, no, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's I was like, how it's good a, um, is that that Ireland has a Potato Park? It has a Tato Park. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a team park dedicated to like crisps. That's great. It's, that it's is, incredible. I feel, like, I feel like that's my heaven. <laughs> it all, oh, trust me. And when you're walking out, like at the end of the day, they give you like three bags of crisps and everything. It's like, oh, yeah. friends. You're just like, no more, no more. Exactly. Oh. Like, Please, I'm full. I think what is it? Do we have the biggest? Is it the biggest second, or the fastest? It's the wooden? second biggest wooden roller coaster in Europe. Wow, that would have been so disappointing for the architect. Yeah. Like going, <laughs> I'm I'm going to build the biggest wooden roller coaster in Europe. And they're like, yeah. sorry, looking at our funding sorry. right sorry. here. Uh... <laughs> it's like, Unfortunately, oh, we've spent we spent too much on the potato chips. So sorry. <laughs> Yeah, they pro- <laughs> no, they put they put a good few more rides in there now. I think it was o- it was like it was only the roller coaster and like maybe two other things before. Yeah, did you get to test like one of the zip lines before? What? Wait, what? Pretty sure we did that. Ty. No, no wait, no, 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 Jared, that wasn't. No, because their zip lines were already. That's t- done, that's, bro. that's second year. Remember, we went to the caves and then we went. Somewhere oh, else. that was deadly. Yeah, there are you exactly? Wow. You know exactly. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Tato Park has loads of stuff. It has this Viking splash now. Has the wooden roller coaster. Has these, like these uh, like Ferris wheel that go. <laughs> it's, it's like, like it's like a Ferris wheel. I mean? You know those things where it's like a giant arm and then like a flat piece at the bottom and it goes yeah. like a full arc. Yeah, it's one of those. Yeah, yeah. It's That's terrible. Terrible. but it's like huge. And yeah, uh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I haven't been in yeah, a while, though. I feel like a wooden roller coaster is also just a little bit scarier than a normal yeah. roller coaster. Yeah, it kind of is because uh, you look at that and you're like, "That's timber." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, and it like, rattles, and you're like, "This thing could break or set on got, fire." You got one thing that goes on fire. Next thing you know, you got yeah, the, the entire thing. roller coaster is up. Scratch. You're and like, you look wow, at this... he misplaces a cigarette, and man, the whole thing goes to shit. Yeah, <laughs> the special effects on this ride are amazing. Oh no, it's just on fire. I feel like I'm actually on fire. Hold on a second. Ow. Oh shit! Hold on now. <laughs> enough about uh, enough about Tail Park anyway. But yeah. <laughs> so you were in Le- Lego Master- uh, Lego Masters Australia. Tell us, tell uh, us I about was- that. Uh, yeah, look, it was pretty amazing. I think we were like the second Lego Masters show. Uh, I think they did one in the UK before us, but it was a bit. They were still kind of finding their feet. And I, I, I mean this lovingly, but I feel like the first Lego Masters was, was sort of like Lego Masters meets Great British Bake Off. Like it had that kind of <laughs> lovely, there were kids in it. It was very Sunday afternoon, but like uh, uh, Lego Masters Australia was real kind of like, you know, massive stadium and there was drama and um, yeah, it was incredible. Just like I think- shoot the competition kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, like it, it felt, I felt like it was a prank for a while because a bunch of people were saying, hey, there's this show, uh, you know, you, you should go on it. And I'm like, this isn't a real show. This sounds like my dream. Like, uh, this is just me normally. Like, this is just me playing with Lego. <laughs> Nobody is going to pay, you know, well, it's, it's free to air, but nobody's going to watch me play with toys on um, national television. But um, 
yeah, it turns out it was real. And what's even cooler was my wife, who is currently asleep, Maddie. Uh, she was up for it. So, you know, I was, I was like, this is a dream. Not only am I allowed to play with, you know, I think it was two and a half million bricks. My wife Ooh. also was up for playing with it. So, um, yeah, it was, it was brilliant. Awesome. And I don't know, do you guys start... Whoa, someone's mic. Did you guys start your YouTube channel before or after the show? Um, I had a YouTube channel before that. I um, am a, um, you know, uh, budding stand-up comedian and, and, com and sketch comedian. And so I had that, but that's definitely not for children. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've, I've always sort of been a children's entertainer as well. I produce kids TV here in Melbourne currently. And um, yeah, Maddie, Maddie is also an actress and did a lot of kids stuff. And as like, we had no idea sort of, if anyone was going to like the show, because it was sort of never been tested before, you know, people might, Australia might've just gone, this is so boring. Like I, you're just making Lego, you know, get the hell out of here. But luckily they loved it. And then after the show, you know, I feel really sorry for the most recent season because it was on right in the middle of COVID and you couldn't go and meet any fans, but we were lucky enough to have all these meet and greets and kids would just come up to us. And especially Maddie, like little children just, it's like she was, I don't know, Jesus or something, you know, they're just crying and, you know, go, oh my God, it's Maddie. So we realized we had this really big following and we actually both met um, Maddie and I working as children's entertainers. So we thought, yeah, let's just kind of, you know, ride this um, tiny army of children who, who suddenly love us. And um, yeah, it's been awesome. It's been so cool. We've actually done like a, a live streaming show during um, the first lockdown and it, it's great because I, I don't think it would have worked if it wasn't a lockdown because kids, you know, they go out and they're playing with their mates and whatnot outside. But it, it really reminded me of like old school wake up in the morning and watch this morning show that we did for the kids. And yeah, it's been really cool. Really, really cool. Awesome. That sounds cool. Yeah, that's really, that's really good. Really, really cool. <laughs> oh, I thank you. I was looking at a, a video of all the kind of stuff you made. What, what's the favorite thing you made during the show? Um, the favorite thing that I made during the show was the, um, so we had this apartment challenge where we got this sort of, oh, it was about a foot high um, and, you know, about that big and it opened up and we had to build this apartment and then stack each other's apartments on top. But I made this haunted house where it had like a giant spider kind of mechanical technique spider and yeah that was wicked that was that was so much fun mainly because it worked and i had i was i was very new to lego technic so yeah that was that was super cool and we won we won that challenge so that was awesome oh damn that sounds really nice. <laughs> so you had a great time with that anyway good fun yeah and, it was uh, a blast how's the youtube channel do anyway like you get lots of people watching it or yeah, absolutely. Like the YouTube channel is pretty good. I mean, because um, I'm a kids uh, producer of television and I produce a bunch of YouTube channels for kids. Um, the, uh, there's copper laws that have just sort of come in that make it really, really hard uh, to have uh, a kid's YouTube channel. Like you can't advertise and things like that. But we discovered that we could kind of bypass that through our streaming. So you can't, so you can't do kids streaming on YouTube, but we have our own website called maddieandjimmy.com and we started streaming through that and that started getting kids watching that and then coming in and watching the youtube channel so take mm. that youtube ha -ha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah don't, we don't like bad mountain youtube but uh you know <laughs> so oh, there's, there's, the kindest of people oh they're so caring they're so caring they just want to help us so you know they don't care about the money <laughs> no, they're just God, there to no you know, support these struggling uh, creators. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't matter if you don't yeah. bring revenue. It's, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah, we, we subscribe to your channel right there. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hey, baby, we're going to eat tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so baby, well. go, to the, go get some lobsters. Or eat yeah. fancy. A absolutely. Ha -ha. Drive to um, Macca's. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Um, but in Australia, in Australia, it's Maccas. Maccas, man. Yeah. Maccas. Yeah, Dara, your accent's on shit, man. I, on, I have a decent accent. Shut up. Oh, Go on. Give, give, give me your accent again, Dara. <clears throat> oh, I, I know it's going to be bad now because when I talk to Australian people, it's not that good. But Oh, that's no. good. That's pretty good. 
I mean, having I'm spent impressed. three three months in the country, I feel like it should be better. But oh, that's I like that. I I was just going to say you were one of those sort of you know European travelers that picks up an accent from from being there for a couple of days. But that's actually a pretty substantial Australian. I think I think the key, Dara, is that you've just, it's uh, it's understated, and that's what's yes. uh, that's what makes it believable. Because I, I think a lot of the time people are like. G'day, mate. Here yeah, you go. Like, buddy, it's, like, oh, it's fucking yeah. pretty crazy. Shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, yeah the pretty only, crazy. The only, people, <laughs> the only people that talk like that in Australia are like ice addicts who are just like, ah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. Woo. Yeah. Get, me Irish, Get me a VB. Get me a VB. Same with the Irish accent because people are just um, automatically doing Irish. Oh, top, top of the yeah, road. Like, yeah, yeah, like, top of the to you. Hi, did you do you stupid. Well, I. I had a, a uh, ex girlfriend from Northern Ireland. I reckon I can do oh, a pretty God. good Northern Ireland. <laughs> um, um, it's, it's, it's sort of like they'd they'd say like James, it's great to see you. <laughs> How are you doing? Christ. How are you doing? That's actually that, good. One. Yeah, but That's I love that brilliant. they they can turn like one syllable things like James into two syllables like James. James. Yeah. James. <laughs> yeah. What the right. hell? The thing they always say. Great the thing. The thing they always tell you to say, because like it's so easy to say in an ordinary oh, accent, oh, oh. is how no brown cow. How no, <laughs> how no brown cow. No, I mean, that's terrible. <laughs> but like so, South uh, Ireland, like down where you guys are, I can't do That's That's a lot. Oh, harder. we're not in the South of Ireland. Jeez, no. Oh, you're middle. middle. You're middle. Yeah, we're Midlands, oh, Ireland. Right in the Midlands. Dirty, dirty racist. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> you're all right. You're all good. I don't God, think I just put me down. <laughs> no. Oh no. There's so many I, different um, accents in Ireland, people just don't get yeah, it. Like, it's, yeah. it's, like we find it hard in, to like, understand the Dublin, Donegal which is or just Kerry one accent. One small part of Ireland, there's two different accents like. It, it, we had yeah. lots of Mayo on yesterday and even their accents, they just like pronounce everything but a really hard S. <laughs> the West of Ireland. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> West. West. Yeah, I, so I did love Ireland. I, we went to Dublin for a little bit, uh, Maddie and I, and um, it was such a good time. But I got in heaps of trouble because I did Airbnb when I was in Ireland. And I'd booked like all these different Airbnbs, but this was the first one. And it was like the worst Airbnb I've ever been to. But it was one of those things where they like took the, um, you know, it was like a fisheye lens. So it looked really big in the photos. And then I Ooh. went in there and it was, it was just like a 16 year old had just kind of had a massive wank and then left the room. And then we came in and we were like, what the fuck is this place? And Maddie <laughs> looks at me and just goes, you've, you've booked all of the accommodation. What have you done? But luckily everywhere after that was really lovely. And, and, and Ireland itself, Dublin was, was beautiful, but, uh, yeah, I just always remember that terrible Airbnb apartment in Dublin. <laughs> I would say if you go to Ireland, Dublin is a very small... Yeah, it, pro it probably costs you a fucking fortune as well. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You go to Dublin, if you go for a day line, out... To, like, you could have a day out in Dublin and have a day out in, like, Tullamore and do the exact same stuff. And in Dublin, you'd spend about €100 Euro, and in Tullamore, you'd spend, like, 30 quid. Is is there like a really bad saying that like uh, it's expensive and the prices keep doubling and doubling and doubling? Is that is that a, is that a no? Really bad but that well, should be. I a guess thing. it can be now. Yeah. Yeah. Great. You know, Dublin is the most it. expensive European city to live in. Yeah. Wow. Out yeah, of, that's London, France, Paris, Germany, everything. France We're is the most the city. Germany is well, not. You know city. what I mean? Like you know, Paris, Paris, uh, Berlin, Berlin, everything. Dublin yeah, is the wow. most expensive. Hey, city look to at least from number one at something, boys. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> it's so it's so disappointing as well because it's so shit. <laughs> yeah, like anyone who's going, if someone tells you they're going to college in Dublin, you're like, are you commuting or are you living there? And if they say living there, you're yeah. like, God bless commuting, you. And your that bank means account. they can afford it. They can yeah. afford to eat. If you're living there, hope, good luck to them. Yeah, you'd be sending them parcels this... in the mail, food packages. Yeah, like <laughs> they'd be getting like airdrops in. Cans <laughs> of beans. Just they better be studying them. to be like a doctor or a lawyer so isn't they can afford like a, to pay off their, their rent. Isn't it like yeah. the like average, a, average monthly like those... rent in Dublin for an apartment, I think, by yourself is like two grand? Yeah. Wow. That sounds about right. Which yeah. is like, what, so how, how many dollars is that like? Hold on, I'll look it up. Um, look up the uh, that Australian dollars. Yeah, that's what I'm looking up like. 
it, it's it, it's going to be more because I know from when I was in Australia, it was like a, a euro is like a dollar and a half. Yeah, that's about right. $3,266 a month Whoa. for an apartment. You may as well just pay off a mortgage. Exactly, yeah. yeah. No, you can't. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheaper to build your house. So it's it's that's mental. Like that's why I'm not going to college in Dublin. Thank God, they don't even have the course they want. So it's all right. And I'm I'm interested, guys, because obviously you approached me through Instagram, and I looked at, and it took me a while to find that little other section. And I'm like, oh my god, cool! You guys want to want me on the podcast? Fantastic! How did you guys find out about Lego Masters Australia? Was it on telly over there, or was it? No, oh, it's more like or... they'd be they'd be putting clips on YouTube and stuff. Yeah, oh, it's, cool. it's, it's seeing a YouTube clip and be like, hmm, that guy looks interesting. I like his hat. <laughs> I like his hat. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if he actually wore a hat, but no, just kind of like I did. Yeah, I thought I we did. Could get that guy on. It was um, it's funny because in um, reality TV, they they really want to because I, I think people who watch it must be drunk or really tired or something. They really want to establish different people. So you don't think, oh, that guy's the same guy. And so there was a couple of bald guys. So yeah, I was the guy. I'll say they were just hat. like, wear a hat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally, totally. <laughs> but it's, it's true. I, I, I do stand up comedy and the amount of times, like, to be honest, I was a little bit scared that you thought I was someone else <laughs> because yeah, the amount of times I get mistaken for another That's bald guy. For people, they oh, really? we thought there was someone else, but like, no, you're exactly who we're looking for. <laughs> yeah. Oh, great. Plus, you know, we're all pretty big fans of Lego. I play all the Lego yeah. games. Thomas, when, when Thomas yeah, has like all the Lego Marvel games on the PlayStation. He bought them all at once. Now it's just like, <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> and I think all, games, all of us but... are on the hunt for like a Lego uh, Millennium Falcon. So. Yeah, there's some pretty, like there's about seven of them now, like in terms of the ones that they've released but the most recent one oh god that was that that black series one was like it was one and a half grand or something in australia I, but but prices in lego vary quite dramatically it's, from, it's, from country it's to country insane. yeah like, I, I remember going to the u.s plastic bricks. yeah but i went to the u.s thinking oh you know like america's the home of 80s toys even though obviously lego is not from america and thought it would be cheap over there but it's about double the price it's insane yeah, that's Jesus. Like, but um, what what sort of uh, like what sort of Lego are you guys into? He's Lego near. I uh, I, <laughs> I, remember, I don't I don't have any Lego. I now when I was in Australia, I I must have built at least six Lego sets because I have a nephew over there, and uh, he's five, yeah, so sweet. like he could he could not figure it out. So uh, I I think I swear to God it was like it was his birthday that month, and it was also Christmas. So you can imagine the amount of Lego we got. And oh, were you, they were, they were, were all you, just like, oh, there, I put it together. Happy? I kind of was, yeah, because I was just, yeah. I was just chilling there. You sent him pictures to us every day, like, guys, oh, I was just like, I was yeah. like, look at this Batmobile I made. <laughs> <laughs> I was just chilling yeah, there at wicked. the table. Yeah. I think a lot of parents are secretly like, oh, dad, I can't build this. And they're like, oh, they're like, oh okay. Fine, I'll build it. And then I they're like, I'll this is so that. cool. Finally, the only reason I have kids. <laughs> No, just yeah, but like I was building it, and I was just like, I didn't know these were so complicated. Like, I think I had one that was um, it was like a Spider-Man one, but it's like a giant spider that he sits in, and like when you put when you push it along, the like legs move, and I was like, what? (laughs) Like it's it was was so weird. Like, and I was like, suddenly Peter Parker got in the money. Because uh, from what I remember, he's just like a 16-year-old or, you know, 17-year-old boy living with his uh, aunt. Yeah. And now he's got some sweet, sweet giant <laughs> Spider-Mobile. He must be, he he won must the be making racks. Yeah. I think <laughs> most of us, Spider-Man. Biggest thing I made with Lego, I had the battles of Helm's Deep. Oh, <laughs> that's that's worth quite a bit of money, man. That's a that's a great set. I've, I've been searching that for that. That oh. was a cool one, man. I still Thomas, have all the still characters. Have uh, no, I don't have it anymore. Oh, it's you, gone. You years just, ago, just, years ago. Gone. Man, well, you've just lost out I on so have, much money. <laughs> yeah. I do have Thomas. all the characters, though. I have Legolas, Aragon, and I have Gimli. All three oh. of them. Plus, I have Gandalf. Oh, that's incredible. You could have, got, you could have retired. I've got most <laughs> of the fellowship. 
<laughs> wow. All the all the important ones. Oh yeah. Fuck fuck the hobbits, man. Fuck them. I can't yeah. remember the last time. We I had people got... on from the hobbit, you can't say that. Oh, oh right, no, no, I love the hobbits, man. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Another doors. Who did you They're have doors, on who did you have on from the hobbit? We Bomber. had um we had the guy who played Bomber. Bomber. Yeah. Oh, Stephen cool. J. Hunter. Yeah, Stephen right. J. Hunter. Fantastic. And I've actually, I, I watched a video Very the other day and uh, there was a meme with him in it and I was like, oh my God, we had him on the podcast. Mm. It was, oh, it was I love that they made him like the fastest runner as well. Yeah, when running yeah we were running. talking to him about yeah, that. That was, like, just, that was wicked. I was like, yes. You know he has Fantastic. no lines in the, in the movie, in all three of them. No, doesn't he, he, doesn't, doesn't, have, doesn't he not have like two lines in the last one? There's, a, there's like an outtake. They didn't use it. Oh, where he had yeah. Lines. Oh, Oh, that He's, would have been brutal. Because the hobbit, the hobbit goes for so long as well. So he'd be yeah. like, "Oh wait, it's coming, it's coming." He's got all these parents and family there. He's like, yeah. Here's my so sorry. Oh. <laughs> I mean, hey, he was still like, like you'd spot him from a mile away. In the film, yeah, that's. So. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm a big Lord of the Rings fan. Like, I would probably start, you know, shaking if I met anyone from the Hobbit. Big fan. <laughs> big fan. And yeah. I believe you also. I love that I'm interviewing you guys now. No, no. I, now tell me, tell me, tell me this. Um, I believe you also uh, recently interviewed a, a ghost hunter, which is pretty cool. We've had four yeah. ghost hunters. Yeah, we've had four ghosts. We had Shan, Sylvia. Uh, we had Rochelle and Brian. Um, and we had who, I wasn't. Yeah, I was, Mustafa. Yeah, Mustafa. That was it. Yeah, I wasn't here for that. Um, one, I would. I would feel quite um, anxious if I was a ghost hunter coming onto your show, seeing as you've had so many ghost hunters. Like, we did how actually would I have someone. Up? He. We were supposed to have someone on uh, Saturday, but uh, he didn't get back to us. So we're, we kind of think he just kind of got scared, and <laughs> he was like, "Oh shit!" I yeah, yeah, I think he, he the thinks that we. we thing, yeah. The funniest like, thing is, we think he ghosted us, and he's a paranormal investigator. So yeah, well, I love. Us. I love that he's love that. not afraid of you know hunting ghosts, but he's afraid of being on a podcast. So, with three, yeah. with three eighteen-year-old boys. <laughs> well, I'm nineteen. Oh, sorry, nineteen. I like 19. to be eighteen again. Forgive me. Um, what was this? I, I feel like some people, when they get down, they feel like we're going to make fun of them or something. Yeah. I, I felt I felt terrible because uh, I remember I just remember when Mustafa got on, he was really. Uh, conservative at the start about what he's going to say and then by the end he just knew we were having mm -hmm. a good having a good laugh and yeah then like, we, and yeah we, we were Michelle and Brian bread. it just fucking the tangent like we usually have pretty crazy tangents on our podcast like, like this fuck me this mm. this episode went on for nearly two hours and we talked about everything from like those electronic pads that you like strap to your uh stomach to make you get abs like chicken strips bread and butter sandwiches I, I thought you were going to talk about like the electronic pads were to find ghosts, but no, they just no. Like ghosts. we like we talked about ghosts for like the Not first nerds. hour, and everything <laughs> after that was just like, so do you like uh, do you like bread and butter sandwiches? Yeah. Oh. And it's yeah. like, do you like chicken strips? Yeah. Oh. They don't well, butter their bread. Let's in the show States. you this thing. Yeah, they don't butter their no, butter their bread, and then they were like, what like the mayo ones. No, what? What, what the thing was? Yeah. Listen. All right. Don't put butter on now, the bread and sandwiches. Now, here's the perfect time to tell the sandwich story because Jimmy wanted to oh, hear it before we restarted off. the thing. Oh, Jesus. Look at Every that. single oh, podcast you tell story. a stupid story. Oh, it's have not to. even true. I have to. It is true. It happened. Oh, is, is, this, is, this a, is this a running it's a spooky thing? story. Yes. Yeah. I've okay, told, yeah, this, I'm ready. I've I'm told ready. this to every paranormal investigator that we've had on that I've been here for. The only spooky uh, thing about right. it is that gravity's real. One person, <laughs> one one of them actually said they actually no, two of them said that it was legit. So, uh, take okay. that information well, and do what it what you will. Let, uh, all right, let, here we go. let me be the layman. Let let me be the you know innocent bystander to to okay. give my perspective, please. please. So tell it me the for every scary story uh, does at a wake, and oh, okay. uh, or no, the wake was the night before. So this is the morning of the funeral. And uh, uh, this was this was waking up on the morning before the wake. No, <laughs> it was like the wake was the night before, and then uh, this morning was like the removal and the funeral. But when did you wake? Oh, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> no. Uh, I was going to see how long that would go for. Every, everyone was downstairs, and uh, like they they left me upstairs to like make tea or whatever, and I was like, mm. okay, I'll, I'll make tea. For people and uh so it's just there making tea and uh 
there's like a table like four foot away from me with like trays of like food and sandwiches and stuff and uh, I'm just making tea and like say so I'm here just making my tea the table's like right there and I'm just like it's in my peripheral vision I can see it and a sandwich falls over <laughs> wait it gets better uh, and and <laughs> So I think nothing of it. I'm just like, okay, sandwich fall over. This is pretty, pretty dumb. Yeah, sandwiches fall over. Yeah, sandwiches fall over yeah. all the time, you know? Absolutely. Go back to making my tea. What gravity is. Another sandwich fell over. And I was like, that's Can not I, a coincidence. I've got, I've, got, I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a question. Go were, the sandwiches, were the sandwiches kind of like displayed in like a sandwich pyramid or some kind of sandwich yes. stone? No, well, like, sure. no, like it was exactly like, it, what it was. It had started as a sandwich pyramid, but then it had gotten down yeah. to the point where it was like just like maybe two layers of sandwiches. Yeah, wow. So it was either like a dead person. Uh, and sorry, were there Nutella? I, 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 no, am they I were like that there was Nutella mentioned? They're like ham oh, sandwiches, I, yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry, I don't know where I got Nutella from. But um, <laughs> so it's either I just I'm hungry. I love Nutella. Um, <laughs> I, I think I think it's either a ghost who loves ham sandwiches, or a ghost who hates pyramids. Um, <laughs> Boom. So, yeah, so either I, way, it's a ghost. So what did you? Isaac but what did you do? Rolling around. I just didn't grave. do anything. I just went back to. I was like, okay, that was weird, and then went back to making my tea. <laughs> And told us a million times, guys, I see the ghost. <laughs> yeah. I didn't see the ghost. I witnessed a poltergeist at work. But I love, I love yeah. also, Dara, that like there'd be all these, you know, ghost hunters with all these sort of, um, yeah, you know, they're like, um, they have all their equipment e- e- EPM and these actual and stuff. stories. All you need to hunt ghosts is just like, all right, I just need um, uh, a, a lot of I need uh, a tray, I need a tray of ham sandwiches um, and I need tea. Put it out there. And now we play the waiting game. <laughs> I'm pretty sure for an episode, we're going to hook Dara up to a lie detector test, man. And man, I up. swear to God, that would be great. story happened. Be great. Whether I believe in it or not, I actually don't know myself. <laughs> I feel like if the story was fake, you would have embellished it and made it like... Yeah, it would have been like, oh more. man, the sandwiches started flying around the room. Yeah. And, and then the sandwiches spelt my name on a mirror <laughs> backwards. <laughs> Red rum. Red, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of Red Rum, you, you have Red a uh, ham. Father, father-in-law cinema club podcast, and you talked about the show oh, pretty recently. Tell us a bit about your podcast. Uh, oh yeah, so um, like it's pretty I, cool. I like this. Oh, thanks, man. I, I also um, I've had some absolutely terrible. Um, yeah, so, let me rephrase that. So in the past, my girlfriends, I've had some shocking like fathers of my girlfriends i don't know about you guys whether you're single or or have um girlfriends or boyfriends you know it's a new age uh but i um i Uh have had some shockers but i absolutely won the father-in-law lottery because this guy is just a legend so he kind of like we we started hanging out when maddie wasn't even around and we go to the movies and i was just and and he is a walking um imdb you know, like Jerry, you said you've listened to the podcast. He just knows movies. He's just brilliant. And so I was like, let's do a podcast. And most of the time it's me ripping the shit out of him or him, you know, <laughs> laughing, you know, doing the same to me. But um, yeah, we absolutely, we talked about The Shining. What's the one we just did recently? Um, oh, the Wizard, yeah, of, Wizard Oz. of Oz. Oh man, that movie, just some like war crimes going on in that film you know have you you guys have seen the wizard of oz yeah yeah we're yeah, yeah we're familiar you know, with the story yeah. you know the bit where they um they go in the poppy field and they're all like oh it's so sleepy oh the poppy oh. <laughs> and they'll you fall over and then you know tin man starts crying and scarecrow's like oh what are we gonna do and glinda makes the snow come down <laughs> that snow i shit you know what is 100 percent asbestos that's what they put on top of them so it was basically like Chernobyl. They're just like showering asbestos down oh on them. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, it wasn't like uh, MGM studios were like, oh, we didn't know. Like they knew, like they knew back then how fucked, oh, sorry, how bad. Um, oh, no, you can swear, yeah, okay. Fuckity, fuckity, fuck. Uh, how bad, um, <laughs> how bad it was. So it, it was, it was terrible. And like, oh, there's just so many things that happened in that film that, um, you're just like, oh man, I'm never looking at that lovely film the same way again. Uh, I can't and I won't that. say any. <laughs> yeah, and you can listen. To, oh, this is such a good plug for my podcast, Father-in-Law Cinema Club. Yes, I knew there was a, a reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
that wow I, I didn't know that and now that I do uh, every time I watch it I'm going to yeah. have to tell whoever I'm watching it with you know that's asbestos right yeah it's like that scene from that Chernobyl series when all the family are just like you know on the bridge and there's all that kind of nuclear fallout just falling on them and when you watch Wizard of Oz again it's on their faces and like they're breathing it and you can see it kind of going <laughs> like it's yeah I'm that's oh bad. God, like that is yeah. fucked <laughs> oh my god yeah. did, you hear, did you hear about that uh that girl, she's like a YouTuber. Is the JoJo Siwa or something like that? A lot of oh, her, yeah, make, yeah. A lot of her makeup YouTube. products, they have to oh, like, yeah. recall. Oh my god! A, yeah. How do you how do you say it? A they had asbestos. They had asbestos. They had asbestos. They had in its products. In the what? makeup. Yeah, and she yeah. sells wow. it to little girls. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, but, I mean, they, they, they did recall. They did recall all the shit though. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's people put a lot happened. of pressure on her. <laughs> it's a bit dodgy. Yeah, she's like, how old she's, is she? Like she's 16 a kid. or? Yeah, she's 18. She'd just be. Eight, wait, she's 18, 18 now. now. I'm pretty sure that was, she was still around man, our age. Fuck me. Like, yeah, that's... the poor thing. She she'd just be dancing while you know someone's got a whip going. You know, sign exactly. sign this. She's oh, she's, seven, right? she's 17. She's 17. Oh, 17. Okay. 17. Jeez, where did I get this? Like Jesus Christ. Sorry, now there's a fire going on my fucking room. So if she goes to prison for poisoning people, she will get out. She will get her criminal record wiped after 18. Does that is that how it works in America? I think that's I what happens idea. in Australia. Seriously, that's not a thing, is that's it? That's so cool. <laughs> I, th- I think it might be. I'm sorry. I think it is in Australia, if you like if it's petty crimes, I think you get your criminal record wiped. Well, I if it's petty crime, you know what? I think that's no, I think no, I no, products. I think no, Thomas, if you if you like just commit a crime when you're like 16 or 17. You don't really know any better, you know? And then yeah, you're I'm like, you up. have, they're like, right, you give one more chance. You're like, I'm taking it. Yeah. Either you're like, I'm taking it or like, fuck it, I'm just going to commit war crimes. Like, but I think it's good. Speak, I'll, uh, I'll Google it. Coming from someone who has oh. a criminal record. Um, and it's, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay here we go this is this is uh in australia in victoria a criminal record is available for 10 years from the time of sentencing as long as you were 18 years and over when sentenced uh if you're under eight five years from the time of sentencing if you were under 18 years so if you've got a criminal record it's wiped uh five years after if so you're under like a, if you're you've under got a 18. clean sleet until you're 18 yeah, man, then, you can you can just go on the lam if you're under eighteen, and then five years later you're like, hey. Well, hey, at least like it's gonna be easier to get a job and everything because like they look at someone and it's like, ooh, you've got a criminal record, we can't have you. To what yeah. extent ooh. is that though? Like, if you kill someone, I don't think if you kill someone, I don't think it, I don't think it applies if you kill someone. I hope it doesn't. I mean, yeah. Hey, like, what kind aren't of? Aren't you that guy that killed anyone? No, 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 no criminal. No, record. I'm not. Yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll have to look it up and let you guys know. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to Google it, and I'm looking now at the most boring document. But uh, yeah, <laughs> five years from the time of sentencing. I I think a criminal record is just a criminal record, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Two kinds: uh, Vic Roads or law enforcement. Criminal driving record. I'm pretty sure it's a criminal record. So if if you're an Australian kid under 18, don't just just behave. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> you're about to tell them to go and commit crimes. <laughs> yeah, I just realised the terrible thing I was about to say and bit my tongue. <laughs> Aren't you like a kids right. entertainer? You'd be like on yeah, <laughs> yeah. kid entertainer tells yeah. kids to commit crimes until they're 18. Go to your local 7-Eleven like, <laughs> and you pay for that meat pie. <laughs> my, Mom, I'm finally in the paper! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god oh, oh god that's fucked <laughs> no. so you also do stand up um, and the lads I think as I know Thomas is definitely interested in doing stand up don't know mm. about uh, Dara no I'm so just funny tell us how you started yeah, yeah sure and uh, where you are I... now with it I don't do stand up so much anymore. I'm more of an actor and do, you know, comedy um, acting and sketch comedy and improv comedy. So I um, do improvisation. In fact, we're doing a live improv show on 
August the first on Facebook. So I could I could let you guys know if you want to come and watch it. Oh, uh, yeah. And mm -hmm. I, yeah. I I actually interview people from throughout history. So I just get my mates on, and they don't know who they're going to be, <laughs> and then I just start interviewing them, and they have to have to work out who they are. Um, but I started doing stand up. Whoa, like almost what the hell is the year now? 2020. Yeah, like almost about 18 years ago. Um, and yeah, I, they had like a kind of a national competition when I was 18. And uh, there's this sort of like youth radio called Triple J. And they, um, did, you, did you know about Triple J when you're over here, Dara? I didn't know. Oh, mate. Um, it's fine. Uh, and uh, so, so it's like a big competition. And I was, I was, I don't think I was very funny when I was 18. I was just very loud. And um, that seemed to trick people. <laughs> uh, but but I, I, I was lucky enough to get into the national competition. And yeah, um, I actually lived way back then in Western Australia, which I really hope, I, I wish I was living there right now. Because they Australia are just running. The best. And they're just running, like there's no COVID over there, apparently. They're just running around. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've heard. Oh, it's like, off just being it's, like, woo, Every, everyone's just pashing each other. Um, you know, it's like from the people that I met over there, like adding them on Snapchat, I've seen that people are just still going to the beach, still going out for drinks, oh, still going yeah, to the it's club. Like nothing's like, going on. It's, and it's, typical Australia, they're just hanging shit on us. We're like, oh, we're not allowed to do anything. And they're like, ah, Victorians, gah. <laughs> I grew up there and so then I was lucky enough to come to Melbourne like they flew me over and I was in like so my I think my like third gig was in front of about 3,000 people which was Jesus. just out of control and then I've d I did it for about 15 years and then just went um this is kind of this it's pretty fun but it, it's it's sort of like being in a band or being a DJ you know it's really yeah. late hours and um yeah I just thought and and, and also like I kind of thought if I could just do it online and, and make, you know, funny sketches and things like that, yeah. you have such a massive audience online. Whereas, you know, as, as fun as going to like a late night stand up room with like 18 people and it is, um, yeah, I just kind of, just sort of outgrew it, I think. Yeah. Enough, but yeah. I highly recommend it. Like it, it's good fun. And especially in Ireland, I think um, I had some mates living in, is there a place called Donny Gall? Donny yeah, Donny Gall. Yeah. Donnie Gall. yeah. Um, it's like a student town, right? Or like a... Donegal's a county, so it's like... The, the, it's the most northern county we have. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe it was there, and they were just like... They ran a pub there for a little while, and they just said the stand-up scene in there is so funny. And um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's something about Ireland and, and all throughout the UK, there's just such great, great comedy scene. And I think maybe it's because it's so cold, and people just want to laugh. <laughs> so they're just... <laughs> You know, want you something go. to do so they don't freeze their hand off while they're holding their beer. But I, I just absolutely love Irish comedy. Um, mm. David O'Doherty. Um, yeah, I love David O'Doherty. Yeah, there's, there's a, a kind of very Australian comedian called Jim Owen who, you know, he, he says that he, he, his claim to fame is that he's Irish, but I think he's more Australian than Irish. Mm. But um, yeah, it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Dylan Moran. Um, yeah, that's just like, yeah, very funny place. I think the thing with Australian, Ireland, England, and New Zealand is all our humour is very alike. Yeah, They're all very yeah. satire, oh, very kind of, we can yeah. get a joke, you know, whereas you have places like, uh, well, you, well, well, you know. We don't we don't, we don't like to mention the bad here. place. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah. I think definitely like, um, you know, stereotypically and classically Americans been a lot louder, but I think I, I do love a lot of kind of American comedy, especially oh, so these days, yeah. like, um, you know, Parks and Recreation and um, mm. The Office, you know, you The know. Office, yeah, Brilliant. It, yeah. Which, which kind of really borrowed from that sort of style and yeah, like a lot of those sort of um, Saturday Night Live comedians or um, mm. comedians that have come out of Second City and the Groundlings that are really improv and sketch based. Yeah. Mm. I think it, like they're certainly going through sort of a renaissance of comedy for sure. Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of really funny people, like a lot of really funny stand ups in America who I, I watched the whole time and they sure they make really good movies and shows. So do you know what? We'll let them off with it. They made, I, they made Marvel and the Avengers. So do you know what? I'm cool. I'm I cool. do like British stand up though. Yeah. 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 I feel like if you think of stand up comedians, like instantly you'll first go to like, you know, like Jimmy Carr, Russell Howard and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're huge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure. 
You like, like Frankie back, Boyle? In a, yeah, Frankie Boyle for sure. Love yeah, yeah, yeah. Frankie Boyle. Jesus, that man is so funny. Like yeah. back a few years ago, like America would have been dominating in, in terms of like with George Carlin and Richard Pryor and stuff like that. And, and Joe Rogan, man. Joe Rogan, even yeah, he's a massive uh, comedian. He's yeah, funny. but um, yeah, I think in the past few years it's just been like Britain. They're just yeah. killing yeah. at the moment, like. What I was amazed by when I did stand up in England and Britain was that um like just how many gigs you can do in one night. Like you can go from one place in London and then you can drive out to like one of the outer counties and do a gig in a pub there and then drive back and be able to do another gig. Like <laughs> it was it was great. And also get paid pretty well. Like yeah, it was a really cool experience. Not bad at all. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> Fucking a lot of work in one night. Stars. You can see it light like, up on the screen. Sorry, now. <laughs> oh, you got a small radioactive bedroom or something. Oh, he does, man, yeah. It's like the Chernobyl of Ireland, you know? <laughs> yeah. Put in all that takeaway, and eventually you got a bit of uranium in there for some reason. <laughs> Beautiful. That's how it's made. Yeah, the smell of takeaway is just like. <laughs> it's clustered and become a just fucking radioactive ball somewhere in the room. I don't know where it is. <laughs> Can't find the source, but it's everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but, <Fair> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's so stupid. It's beautiful. Sorry, it no, sounds it very fun. much like my uh, bedroom oh my as a as an eighteen year old. <laughs> no, my, my bedroom, like I think my bedroom and the bathroom are like pretty much the same size. Oh, geez. Which is oh wow, I thought you were gonna say the same place. No. <laughs> Well, Thomas, I don't, I don't go and take a shit in my bedroom, do I? I am a dolphin. I sleep in my bath. I would, I would love that. No, you wouldn't. No, I you know. wouldn't I, no, I just have an infatuation with the ocean. So, I mean, if yeah, I did, you wanted to be a marine biologist. I still want to be a marine cool. biologist. I'm going. He went swimming with sharks when it was over. I and... did. I went. To, I went to um, Aqua in Perth. In uh, Hillary's, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 and I went uh, snorkeling with the sharks there. And oh, cool! Sure, he oh. lost a leg in it, but you know it was um, worth it. I actually, I have my certificate here. Boom! Oh, simp, simp, oh simp. that's cool! Simp. Shark simp. Yeah. Shark simp. Shark simp. Shark simp. Also, I'm shark simp. I also <laughs> uh, did some scuba diving with some sharks at an aquarium. It's. Uh, I, did they wind you up before you went? snorkeling like were they like oh no, careful they were if, like, if your heart beats too hard they'll they'll be able to tell they can smell <laughs> <fear."> <laughs> they no, they were actually, it was like, like it was me and hands. three other people uh like three other uh just people going in and i think it was just like me then some other random guy and then i think a father and daughter and then we had like our dive master as well and she was just sound like she didn't try and like scare us or anything she was just like oh yeah if um if this fish comes up and looks you dead in the face, don't worry. It's just looking at its reflection in your mask. And I was like, oh. <laughs> I was like, okay. I wasn't even worried about the sharks at that point. I was just like, if this fucking thing comes up to me, I'm gonna have to punch it square in the face. <laughs> yeah. Take but, that. Don't mess with him. He punches fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, fish like, puncher. He he went fish. <laughs> fish puncher. Banned from Australia. Yeah. <laughs> fish puncher. It's a new superhero. Yeah, no, you're in like, prison. What, in, what are you in for? <laughs> I went in and like people like after I came out, everyone was like, "Was it scary? Was it scary?" And like people were texting me like, "Oh, it must have been terrifying." And I was like, "No, it's not. Like it's, it's more no, it's like, not. It's like worse when you go you in there, when you see it. when you see these like big ass sharks at the bottom of the tank, I'm just like, I respect you, so I'm gonna keep my distance." Yeah, you it's, know, it's kind of scary, but like calming at the same yeah, time. Yeah, it is. Like because I'm in in this thing, they had like um. It's not really airflow things, but like different places where the water would push in. So it kind of formed this like kind of like current around the tank like that. Oh, cool. So you just like you wouldn't even have to like like um swim that much or like use your legs or your hands just to kind of direct yourself. So it just push you along really slowly. Oh. So it was like really calm. And, and then they had this. uh It was like a coral bit in the middle. But uh, at some point there's like a dip in it. So like you can all sit into it. And just like look yeah, down wow. and look behind you and stuff. It's, it, it was really cool, yeah. Australia Sweet. is just like fucking crazy place compared to here. I did so much shit over there that I couldn't, would never be able to do here. Like, 
Like, yeah. the gun laws here are kind of very strict, so the, there's not really many firing ranges. So went to a firing range in Perth, like, the day before I left. I, uh, I Yeah, I was going to say, the, gu the gun laws in Australia are pretty strict as well, but I guess you're in Perth, so it is yeah. the wild <laughs> Exactly. Like, yeah. oh, you, want, you want to shoot a gun, mate? Come come to this shed. Literally, like no. We went to, uh, I swear to God, no, the, the thing was, we were at, um, it was like the day before I went, and I went on a Tuesday, so it was a Monday, and everyone was like in work or like at school or something. And we went to a water park at like 12 o'clock. There was fucking no one there. Like, actually no one had gotten everything. And then, like, at some point, my brother, like, went for a smoke break. And I went with him. And uh, he just pulls out his phone and rings his face. And it's like, oh, yeah, would we be able to, like, if I got a rifle and he got a handgun, would we be able to swap? And I was like, I was, like, looking at him like that. And he was just like, okay. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. But, Fullest uh, brother ever. I know it was like it was it was actually so cool, and uh, we went down to Bunbury as well. I think after ah, yep. just after Christmas, and I flew a plane for a half an hour, so that was fun. That's where my family live near in Bunbury. All um, right, yeah. Bunbury is lovely. Has a, so. Yeah, my mum has a farm. Like uh, when I say near, like uh, an hour away from Bunbury. Like, yeah. Inside, yeah. Yeah, but it's um, a pretty special part of the world. It's oh, it's incredible. Hands down, like I'd, I'd go back in a heartbeat. Amazing. I'll be back, definitely. Nice. We'll catch up, have a beer. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We've have had so many guests from Australia. It's yeah, nice. I've I missed some of them. Oh. And I'm like, oh, come on. Like, Australia is now my favorite place. We've had place. 41 guests, and I think five or six. Are... Five I think six. seven of them are Australian. All right, we have six. Or five probably of them from the exact same place. I don't want to oh, like really? insult. I I don't want to name them because I don't want to like forget someone and then feel bad. I can have. Yeah. We can have. We've had. Right, we've, we, had we, right, we've had Jade Jane Irvin. Irvin. Uh, we've had George Menorah. We had um, Steve Bastoni. Steve Bastoni. Yeah, yeah. Um, Stephen Hunter. Stephen Hunter. Well, he's he's from New Zealand. He, yeah, he's a Kiwi. Yeah, he's living yeah. in Australia. There's a little bit still there's a, a little Kiwi. Bit <laughs> There's like this ocean between the two, but it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> I don't know. Um, um, anyone else? I'm trying to think. I, I feel, see, this is why... This is why we should have done this. Yeah. yeah. We shouldn't have done this. I feel bad now. I think no, that's most of the people we've had on, right? We've definitely had more Australian guests. I just... Oof. No, we haven't. It's not getting to me at the moment. We've had yourself, Jimmy, of course. How could we forget? Oh, yes. Well, how could we forget? <laughs> Absolute honour. It's, it's, it's been lovely chatting with you guys. It really has. Thank you. Yeah, for, it's thank been you lovely for chatting to you. Lucky yeah, number seven. You're a legend. <laughs> oh, lucky likewise. <laughs> or, or eight, or, or however many Australians you've had on. <laughs> I'll let them know. They all live next we, door. We, to me. we should start making. <laughs> we should mar start making like other playlists. Yeah, we countries. should make a. We should make a playlist for Australian guests. Oh, the Aussies. Oh, the Aussies. <laughs> oh. No, don't do that. Nobody will listen to it. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd go back and listen and repeat. Love Australians. Oh, Nocturnal uh, Archer, Jared. Oh, yeah. yeah. And yeah. Andrew Donald. Andrew Donald. Andrew Donald. What oh. a guy. Uh, he's a oh. blind archer. It's great. Wow. A blind yeah. archer. That is, that is skill. Is well, rod, he's got rod, rod, rod monochrome chromatism, yeah. It, he's he's wow. color blind. So and he's, he's like, he everything just, is like, like an overexposed black and white, yeah. Holy shit. And so he so has to wear these glasses really good and shoe at night, okay. yeah. Hell, Jared, Damien Tomlinson. Damien Tomlinson. Uh -huh. Army dude, man. You just had him on. <laughs> yeah, he was an awesome he, guest, he, man. People really liked him. He uh, he went through a lot. Yeah. He's I awesome. sadly wasn't here for that episode, but I've heard he's a great man, hero. Sound yeah. man. Guy. Yeah. But awesome back guy. to you, before we finish <laughs> yes. up. Sure. Um, I want to talk about a bit. Uh, oh, oh, I want to talk a little bit about your acting career. Yeah, sure. And then well, that won't we'll take finish long. up where where people will <laughs> can find you and follow you and so on. Yeah, sure. So, That's how'd you get into here. acting? Uh, I could, I just couldn't really do anything else, to be honest. Um, <laughs> same with same with comedy. I just I just love it. I mean that that is sort of where I'm I'm headed. Uh, I've chosen a great time to be an actor uh, when I can't even go outside. But um, yeah, I, I love it. I, I think um, yeah, I've I've just always been obsessed with you know 
running around the house as a kid doing stupid voices. And, and I think that really led into stand up. But I think what I really loved about acting is the ability to, you know, tell stories and, and, and really be part of those stories. And uh, yeah, I think I, I, I really sucked at school for a long time. And, um, you know, I, I was a kid with ADHD and just had no attention span and was, was really struggling. And then luckily I had this really cool teacher who, um, yeah, went, let's get him in the school play and see what happens. And after that, I just, that, I had a reason to get everything else done. Cause I was like, I want to do that. And um, yeah, it's been great. I mean, all my best mates I've met through it and yeah, it, it's really fantastic. Like Maddie is uh, also an actress and yeah, she gets, she gets much more um, auditions than I do uh, because she's gorgeous uh, and also <laughs> incredibly talented. Um, but um, yeah, a- absolutely love it. And if you guys, um, you know, become really successful and become famous directors, please give me a job. <laughs> Of course. Well, I know some, I know the boys are planning on doing something similar. Anyway. Yeah. Um, so. Film studies or uh, media studies. So. Well, yeah. Well, film I, production I, I, or media studies. I did. I did film production at uni as well, and um, and that's what I do at the moment because um, acting uh, does not pay very much all the time. So um, yeah, I, I love it. I'm an editor and a director and a producer as well, and. Yeah, it's great fun. It's it's wicked. It's it's so cool to be able to like as a kid watch the movie like you know Indiana Jones and Star Wars and you know movies that I'd love and go, how the hell do they do like that particular special effect or how did they achieve that kind of cut and and kind of have to work it out and I'd be running around with my mates with video cameras and yeah I'm I'm still pretty much like that now you know <laughs> but just with a bit more knowledge and a bit better. Oh, very nice. Nice camera. Thank you. Um, fun, yeah. 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 It's wicked fun. I love it. It's, it's just the, it's, it's the kind of number one media for telling stories these days. I mean, yeah. people, people still read and, and, you know, obviously listen to podcasts, but this is, you know, this is a, a video podcast as well for that exact reason that people are just so obsessed with video. So I think, I think we've chosen yeah. a good industry to be in. Yeah. Um, I didn't get to see. Is, is your podcast a video podcast as well? Uh, it is not. It is so not. In the because, audio. Uh, it's just an audio podcast because my father in law loves to just swear or just go on tangents <laughs> or just or just have his mates ring him up halfway through the podcast and he just walks off. Like, I'm like, Ken, this time we're just going to do the podcast and we're not going to get interrupted. And he's like, yeah, yeah, Jimmy. Sure. Yeah. No, no worries, mate. And then like five minutes in, it's like, dee, 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 dee. he's like, Oh, one second. I'll be right back. <laughs> or like he'll start yelling at, at my mother-in-law who's, you know, cooking something upstairs. And so I'm just like, Oh, so what, what should have just been, you know, press record, <laughs> press stop, upload yeah. to SoundCloud or whatever is now me on like, you know, pro tools trying to cut things and move things around. But, I love it still. I, I think it's so much fun. That's the hardest thing about this podcast. We don't edit it. So if there's an interruption, it stays in. Ah, oh, I love like, it. It's rustic. Oh. I think yeah, we've had it, to edit one podcast just we've because had to a guest told an inappropriate podcast. joke. Yeah. A, a guest wanted to become a teacher. And he said a really, number one is a bad joke. Number two, it was a... Offensive. Stupid, it wasn't like an offensive joke. It was just, no, yeah, just kind of crude. It was just a dirty joke. And, was, it, um, was it awkward at the end? Like, did you guys? Was it was it funny? Well, no one it got bit... it originally. But then, no one got yeah, it. Yeah, and then yeah. we were like, oh, oh no, oh come on, oh, no. you. Did you know I'm going to DM you like, the joke after this. I'm, I'm going to DM you the joke. <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> no, the, no, the worst thing is that, that um, <laughs> the worst thing is uh, the door's right behind me. So if there's an interruption, if someone comes in, the door just opens behind me. You can see it. But I lock my door. I do. But if I lock oh, my door, right. the door gets fucking slammed on. Just, oh my God. Yeah. I have to mute my mic because it's just ah. like, dun, dun, dun. Ah, your dinner's ready. Like, I love it. I'm just Send like, me a text. <laughs> Send me a text, but exactly. I love oh, that, like, as, as an 18 year old, I would have just been like, Mom, don't open the door. I'm, I'm doing something inappropriate. I'm exploring <laughs> myself sexually. I'm exploring myself sexually. But, like, these days, you guys are so, like, far ahead of where i was you're like i'm just producing a podcast that's going globally and mum's like ah you kids i think that's brilliant <laughs> yeah 
That's pretty good. We, we do it every single day. We just kind of... Oh, fuck. That's even... Sorry because of the even... podcast. Sorry because of the COVID. I love it. You're just like, not only do we do a, a podcast uh, internationally, we do it every single day. Whatever. It's, it's a mind melter. It. It's very, very impressive. Sometimes you'll be left at the end of the day and you're just like, I can't speak anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know what you mean. Because like sometimes... you'll, you'll have like a two hour podcast where you just fucking just talk your entire brain. And then you're just like, oh. what, what, what am I doing tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, I know what you mean. And like, you're just having a normal conversation in real life and you're like, did I press record on this? Oh no, it's, it's not a podcast. This is just Yeah, real exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Or you'd be like talking to someone and be like, what guests do we have on today and what time? And you're just like... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's-, oh, it's the best because my, my um, um, father-in-law is a little bit older than I, uh, which, yeah. is, which is a very good thing. Otherwise, it'd be very <laughs> suspicious. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But like, because he's getting on in his, in his years, sometimes like we'll be chatting and he'll be like, I don't know, we're talking about Wizard of Oz or something. He's like, how about the lion? The costume was great, wasn't it? I'll be like, yeah, yeah, the costume was great, blah, 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 blah. And then 20 minutes later, he'll be like, how about the lion? The, the costume was wonderful. I'm like, Ken, we literally <laughs> said that 20 minutes ago. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. Hence, sure, hence two lads like editing. that as well. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> sandwich story, story like, oh my God. Stupid. It's like a broken record. Um, no, there's, but there'll be stories or like uh, things we've talked about where it's just been like, we ha- have we talked about that before? And we're like, I, I don't even so. know. And then we'll like well, have talked about it in like six other episodes and be like, oh shit. Yeah. Which reminds me, I've got this story, right? I was at a wake and these sandwiches were in a period. <laughs> and it's all like, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, every time I just sink in the chair and I Yeah, it's like over. why it's not even that bad of a story, man. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. It if it is. doesn't it's if it doesn't get a laugh, it gets like hmm, I feel like this is I feel stupid. Like you guys need to start you guys like need to start adding sound effects or something, like those really hack radio shows. Or just like, like a jump scare with a sandwich. <laughs> Yeah. Just do the sandwich fell. <laughs> it's just like a Last time and then the sandwich I was on the screen. On a, I was recording on Skype and I'm when I record on Skype I can share my screen and so I have Google open the whole time and <laughs> I had to think but what, what was it? Was it uh, incoming scary alert or something dumb? <laughs> oh, yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah. like it's like warning oh. incoming scary scary <laughs> stuff and it's just like me telling the sandwich story. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, guys, it thank great. you so much for having me. It's been an absolute pleasure. I feel like it's I've got three new mate. Yeah, Thanks it's been, been, coming on, it's been um, amazing. So <laughs> if people want to follow you, they want to check you out, where can they find you? Yeah, uh, I am on Instagram. Uh, it's just at Jimmy James Eaton. Uh, and then I'm on uh, YouTube, Jimmy James Eaton, or YouTube, Maddie and Jimmy, if you're eight years old and you're listening to this podcast. And if you are, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> We also have uh, a website, uh, Jimmy James Eaton and maddieandjimmy.com. And of course, my podcast, The Father in Law Cinema Club, which is on iTunes and SoundCloud. Whew, what a plug. Oh boys, that's a lot of Lincoln. <laughs> a lot of plugs. It's a lot of plugs. Would you like? So, um, yeah, thanks everyone for uh, sticking around, having a laugh, having yeah, a thank crack. You. Thank you, Ireland. Yeah, if you, uh, if you like this, you know, uh, like the video, uh, comment, subscribe, tell your grandma about the podcast, obviously. Mm. Uh, and make sure to check out this dude's podcast. You know, he's pretty cool. Is that, I actually, I don't listen to a lot of podcasts, but I started listening to it and I like it. So keep oh, it going. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Validation. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, and take your handy, everyone. Take your handy. Yeah. Look.